सो स्पार्क ओ एस न्यू अपडेट इज आउट द वर्शन इज थर्टीन पॉइंट फाइव पॉइंट फाइव एक्चुअली लॉर्ड ऑफ कस्मोम्स आर नॉट कमिंग बेस्ड ऑन मार्च सिक्योरिटी पैच एंड दिस इज ऑल्सो नॉट हेयर विद मार्च सिक्योरिटी पैच अनफॉर्चुनेट बट येस दिस इज वट वी हैव मोस्ट लाइकली लॉर्ड ऑफ कस्मोम्स माइट स्किप द मार्च सिक्योरिटी पैच राइट नाउ बट माई वर्ल्ड इज टू शो यू द चेंजेस द न्यू अपडेट इज आउट फॉर द स्पार्क ओ एस कस्टम होम there are no major changes to be honest some of the changes are here which we will talk about in this video so stay tuned and let me tell you one thing here if you take a look at the quick settings panel one thing i was not able to show you in the previous update is the data usage advanced data usage option you can see a lot of customers are giving you are providing you this feature named as data usage but this spark ways or maybe i saw this feature in corvus ways too we have advanced options in data usage like total internet usage mobile data wifi data this is very good second one is desktop mode which is a newly added option in spark ways settings this thing is almost same with libre os if you haven't watched my previous video the video where i talk about the libre os custom room then you should check it out this is the feature which is present there and you can even check out here you can get the pc client get.librimobileos.com/desktop and this is desktop mode on tv both of these things are present in spark os latest update which were not available previously so with this new update this is the addition which i found another one is the google services option is now available sometimes this features get disabled i mean this sometime they remove this feature sometimes they add this feature i am not sure the why but uh, this is what we have but you can enable the google services if you want to or if you don't want to you can simply disable that that's totally up to you we have the google services option available enable or disable it's totally up to you if i take a look at the default launcher there are no major changes in the default launcher but if i take a look at the miscellaneous options you can see the action toast option is what i found where you can see the enable or disable option for toast clear all which means that clear all pop up when you have, when you can clear all when you clear all the task you will see the pop up there that toast then you can enable or disable that option other options are basically same like the quick app quick actions memory info and else but this is what we have in the default launcher one thing which i found here is in the home screen settings it's a hot seat background where you can even adjust the background opacity 40% is a by default but if you enable this option you can customize this background opacity it doesn't look that bad if i move on to other options in the app section you can see the parallel space option is also present here i think so you might need this thing parallel space option is not so bad if you enable this option then of course you will be able to use more than one app at a single time this is very good and you can even create more spaces at a time so this looks very good and one more thing is if you take a look at the settings if you have the option of this enable google services you can simply clone those apps in parallel space and you can disable the google services for those this is a very good thing this is actually one of the things which is very underrated but this is what we have it also gives you the option of spark system manager where you can optimize your device power consumption and performance while the device is in idle in the previous update according to them the device was lagging and it was not performing well but with this new update they actually improved it i'm not sure but yes i think so i didn't got any major differences i didn't found any major differences after enabling this thing but this is what we have this is spark system manager other options we have the animation style which is android p style animation which looks very good by the way and yes i still remember the previous old times this is almost same like that there are no major differences it's actually same you can enable this option from miscellaneous options and then this is it one more thing which i found after installing spark os is this custom is having a lot of customizations and this is quite smooth you can even customize the quick setting panel styles and one of my favorite is quick setting surround which as i am using already you can enable you can also enable this cyberpunk looking option which is just basically same it's not a big deal but i always use the qs surround option which according to me is a very good thing other options are already present here so these are the things which are present in this latest spark ways no major changes it is one of the most customizable custom homes yes it was expected it is here so if you want to install this thing link is available in the description and uh, these were things i just wanted to let you know i hope you like this thanks for watching and goodbye